Hello everyone, welcome to another Lions Belcher video. This deck is wild, I played it last time, it was a blast. I uh, made it some changes, but let's get into it. So the goal of the deck is to kill your opponent with Goblin Char Belcher. Easy. Usually the least, the most winning list plays green and plays right across the path. But today we're taking a spin on it. We're playing black for heavy disruptions in the form of Grief, Inquisition of Kozilek, and Duress. As well as Spose of the Vault and Inferno Tutor, which act like tutors. But why don't you play Profane Tutor? Well, Profane Tutor is not bad. It's, it's a fine choice. Spose of the Vault, though, it's kind of faster. Like, you can cast it end of turn, find the Iron Crank Feet or the Child Belcher, get lucky on it, you win. Or you can go Inferno Tutor with Diamond's Lion. So the way Diamond's Lion work is a Lion's Eye Diamond. So it's a 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. You tap to discard a card, discard your hand, and get 3 mana. But what you can do is you can play a card like Inferno Tutor, and with ability on the stack, you can crack the, lens, the Diamond Lion and get 3 mana in your pool. So that you can tutor up, let's say, Goblin Char Belcher, and cast it. Or if you have Lion's, Diamond's Lion in play and Goblin Char Belcher, you win because the diamonds the diamonds lion gives you the three mana you need. Uh, the mana base, of course, the deck plays zero lands, but it plays a lot of lands actually. For eight, ten, fifteen, nineteen, twenty-one, they're all the, the top land. And then there's the little tech sideboard tech, which is Kahira the Orphan Guard. You be like, why do you have a Kahira the Orphan Guard in your deck? Well, first because uh, you have those force of vigors. And those Force of Vigor in the sideboard can only be cast after you return Kahira. Okay? So, why this deck is playing Inquisition over and Dress over Thoughtseize? Because you already have the, the Shadow to Spoo Smashing, Agadim's Awakening, and Spose of the Vault. You don't really want to take too much damage from yourself. But yeah, overall, you play Kahira for that reason, plus, well, the bluff. Uh, yeah, that's it, basically. Any updated since last time? Yeah, last time I've played Pact of Negation, I disliked it. I th I thought it was not good. Yeah, again, I could play Profane Tutor over Spoils, if you don't want to hurt yourself. But Spoils is uh, it's more explosive, let's just say. It's more explosive, let's just say. Iron Crack Feet is your way to win as early as turn two if you get lucky. You can go Ritual, Ritual, Iron Crack Feet, Char Belcher. The mother base is kind of shaky. You don't have that many swords, you don't have any dual lands. You have, I believe, uh, 12 black and... No, sorry, 11 black and 10 red. Maybe 12, 10. Quattro, set, no, yeah, 11, 10, yeah. Okay, let's begin. I'm gonna reveal my companion, which maybe makes my opponent think I play elementals or blue eye control. Okay, it's a two land hand. Actually, a three land hand. All right, it's a keep to me. Blooming Marsh, that's probably Yogmoth. I don't want to do a rest just yet. Uh, I want to wait, maybe they amass more, um, more spells in their hand. Wall of Roots, okay. I'm going to do now, though. Because this one's for Court of Calling and Outer Revolution. Okay, we drew the Belcher. Let's do rest me first. Perfect. I just like traditional Belcher. I think it's fine. This is more 
more of a brew of a friend of mine. And last time I played it, people went crazy. I don't really play brew often on my channel. Plus, traditional Belcher is too big brain. I don't want to think about the piles over across the path. Okay. Let's play Diamond's Lion. We want to play Diamond's Lion with Molecule Rebirth, man up. Because I go Diamond's Lion with Malachi Rebirth mana up. They kill it with Grease and I Malachi Rebirth with Diamond's Lion. Then I draw a card. If I draw it on top land, I win the game. Unlikely though. Or I can just go Infernal Tutor Lion. Hmm. I think that's bad. I'm just going to play a Malachi Rebirth adopt. It's my first time playing Belcher on stream. Not only I already played this deck, but I've made a couple of videos with Red Green. But yeah, this deck is definitely different than Red Green Belcher. Looks like they drew a cord. That's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Okay, so they're just gonna simply killing my Diamond's Lion with the tokens. And they drew also, they also found the Stronger guys. Okay, again, still it's not lethal. Uh, is there any way for me to win next turn? I don't think there is. Yeah, it's impossible. To, I guess every ritual kill uh, wins. Yeah, any ritual wins. Any ritual wins. Let's do it. Ritual? Are you ready, chat? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's the time where we gotta get lucky with spoils. See, this is why spoils is great. It gives you a glimpse of winning. You maybe not win because I need to hit a ritual before 10 cards because I'm on 11. All right, let's begin. Spoils, what do we hit? Aloha, do you wanna name Paretic Ritual or Desperate Ritual? First, first decisions. Since I'm kind of desperate, I'm gonna name Desperate Ritual. Because I'm very desperate at the moment. It has to be in the top 10. I can only go to 4. Alright, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't flip too many cards, please. Oh, it was on top? What the fuck? <laughs> Woohoo! And that's for Rachel. And... I got him's under crypt. We have to play 3 life. Uh, yes. And Iron Krug, feet. Goblin, Char, Belcher. And that's the win. All right, all right, all right. We got the first game. Good game. Now, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... I didn't put a Blood Crypt in my sideboard. Last time I had a Blood Crypt in my sideboard and I lost the game against Yogmoth because I hit my Blood Crypt. Play Rumble Zeju. So... Didn't trap myself into doing that this time. I'm gonna bring the Furies. Uh, just taking out some Duresses and Inquisition, probably. Inquisition's great. The Infernal Tutor. Yeah. Let's go. Maybe Totsies? I don't know. No, 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 that's not. That's not. Maybe thoughts is. But as you saw, life total definitely matters with this deck. Okay, so this is a two land end, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep a fury. I also don't really mulligan. He was little and good here. No, no. We're a combo deck. 
I don't even, I don't care about my opponent combo. <laughs> Only care about Mango. I hit a card to let us win the previous game. That's for Rachel. But yeah, for real, like that's why you play spoils over a profane tutor. It's a deck that comes with risk. And the risk is that uh, sometimes you kill yourself. You got two Furies, my opponent will know about it. All right, thought sees. And Wall of Roots. Okay, they've got Charbelcher, reasonable. Reasonable. Uh, what do I want to do here? Hmm. Do I Infernal Tutor for a Desperate Ritual? I think so. I don't want a Fury just yet. It's only one Birds. I don't think it's worth it. Would you see more? This is a spot where I wish Tutor was a profane tutor. Outlaw Liberator, sure. I guess this is calling for a Fury. I draw a land, I'm gonna cast Fury here. A red land, I mean. It's tapped, but okay. So I'll go Fury, I'll pitch the... Actually, though, I don't want to do it. Because I can also instead just top and go. Like, I don't care if you flip this. So, next turn, I have three mana. I can go to four, five with two a ritual. Hmm. So, what happens if I go Inferno Tutor for Desperate Ritual? Can I cast two Furies the turn after? I have three. I can go three. One Rest of Rage Roll, four. Spots into the Cane, six. It's another one, seven. Hmm. I. Man, my opponent knows about Fury. Why did it play this way? I think I don't want to kill the Outland Liberator. I'm just playing a top land and passing the turn. Hello, Scott Holm. Yes, I played a showcase uh, list of Murktide earlier. I didn't really like it. They're gonna just draw a card off of Peatland. They can also court into something if they have it. Yeah, they flipped uh, this thing, but again, it's not that big of a deal. I kind of want to hold the the Furies to cast them both in this in this in this game. what they do. Three. Necromancia. Ah, you naming Furies here? What are you naming? They named Char Belcher. Makes sense. I don't mind.
Crow. Okay. So here I can go Ritual, Ritual, Fury. Not bad. Or what can I do else? Can I go Inquisition? I think opponent doesn't have anything in end, right? What do they have in end? Last turn I didn't do anything. This this turn I made the Mr. Land drop though. Yeah, I think I'm just playing Inquisition now. Let's see what you have first. Look at this Adesia boo. They had literally the same hand last time in Inquisition. Um, mm -mm -mm. And what's going for a tutor for ritual here? I think so. And pass. How do I win without Belcher? A two fury now. That's a three three double strike. It's no joke. It looks like one is about to cast Yogmoth. Yeah, I'm gonna for sure fear the Yogmoth. So let me quickly. How much money do I have at the moment? Uh, I can go Rachel. That's three. Iron Crack Feet Fury. Or I can go. Ritual, split three minutes. Splice onto the arcane fury. I think that's best. Ah, uh, attimo. Let me think about this. So I certainly need to go yog uh, kill yog moth, and they're just gonna. Alternatively, I can evoke a yog moth. Before the splice, yeah, I play one ritual first and then splice. Um, I'll turn it and just evoke the yield moth here. So I go fury evoked. Hmm. We're gonna go ritual. Ritual splice got six from one in my pool. That's not enough. Hmm. No, I think I'm casting a Fury. I think I'm casting a Fury here. Just... Yeah. And pass. I can't play another spell after. I can only play one spell. Uh, kill Yogamoth or kill three creatures? Mm, kill Yogamoth. I can't, I can't cast these spells. But it's four cards in end. What was the record with Jess guy? Uh, three, two. Pulling drew three cards, chat. I'm not winning this game. Ah, uh, not in the comments. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, honestly, maybe the best play I think was just evoking fury first and then casting a new one. I think that was the best play. All right, let's go Desperate Ritual. 
Shot is mashing. Puna's on 10. They have two cards in end. I got a couple of 2 twos here. Alright. Wondering now if I should cast this. If I should play this as a land in case I draw grief. Or if I should hold it. I'm gonna hold it, although if I draw grief, I'll complain about about being unlucky. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah. Grief is definitely the best draw here. I don't know if Bell tried that on the Furies. Play Bozehu. The Necromancy again? I hope so. Ah, uh, this is hard now. This is a little bit too hard now. I got a mauling, attention. Unfortunately, it costs four because my opponent has this basic swamp. I could have crapped the lands I diamond in response to the Balkan Awakening, right? Hmm. They attack me. Interesting. Draw. Va bene, va bene, I concede. Let's go to game three. I'll be on the play. Thank you to YGO. I would have no card. Nah, that's true, that's true. That's true. I couldn't crack in response. That's true. Thank you, thank you, YGO. How do I see Living End? Very good deck. Uh, do I want some Vistress Spells? Maybe these are better than Grief? What a mulligan on this hand, it's just one land. I'll keep this. What do I bottom here? I don't want to bottom Infernal Tutor and just hope to just get lucky. If I draw Belcher, I could win on turn 3 with this hand. Let's hope for no necromancia. Oh wow. Stone rain. No blood crypt in my deck.
No blood crypt in my deck. It will want to fury something. No, I'm gonna keep it for for the for the yield moth. I could cast it next turn. Yep, Daddy Yogamoth is here. They pass. Yep. See if they want to draw cards, but I don't think they do actually. I basically have to draw both Redland and Belcher while my opponent. Can cord for Yogamoth this turn already? No, next turn. Yeah. I'll put up a clock though. They are going to put up a clock though. So it has to be Redland and the Belcher in a row. It's just so easy. It's okay. Again, the reason why I was playing a, a Blood Crypt was exactly this. I mean, it's not that I would have blocked her if I would have won, but I would have landed a Fury. Wouldn't have done anything still. I would need to top deck Belcher again. Malika Rebirth? Yeah, it's in the deck. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Good game, opponent. Good game. My deck. Yeah. I mean, it's a. It's a high bar in this deck. In... You hit it and you miss it. That's okay. GG. Play four Malika Rebirth. Because you have Grief, so you can Malika Rebirth Grief. Sometimes you have it all, sometimes you don't do much. It's the nature of uh, keeping a hand that's missing a combo piece in a combo deck. Ooh! Yeah, the force of bigger Kahera is fun. Okay, let's go on the draw with my companion, Kahera the Orphan Guard. No lands. I think I'm keeping this hand. Obviously, we need to get lucky with this hand, but I'm already on six, and, uh... Luminous Broadmoth? Uh, I... Doesn't seem to be that good, Modder. Uh, they're playing mill over there. Let me, let me, let me do this. Drown. Who is gonna mill me quick? They have three crabs and they don't play removals. All they need to draw is uh, a ritual and a land, or just two lands. Okay, that's a land. Now I win with any ritual next turn. Oh, they mill 40? We need more? That's true, because this one isn't just activate you win. Maybe they don't have lands.
Wasn't the, the naughty hit Char Belcher because they play surgical? All right, it's time to top deck. Ritual, boom, Diamond's Lion. All right, all right, not the worst. No, it's actually the worst. Yeah, it is the worst. All right, go. And next turn, if I sub if Lion survives, yeah, just just literally any mana producing card wins. As long as it's not a top lane. All right, they mill me for nine. I go to still enough cards in the deck to win with Belcher. They can mill me for fourteen. I go to nineteen cards, still enough to win with Belcher. I have to hope they don't have a surgical though. They cycle. All right. Okay, chat. Once again, this is the time. I need to draw a mana producing card. Cazzo. Cazzo, 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 cazzo. I'm on 28. Yeah. What's a wire? Actually, 19 is still enough to kill my opponent. They might just have three lands in hand. Unlikely though. Oh, they can also activate Shelly now. And Yente, I lost. Va bene, va bene, va bene. Let's see what I have in the sideboard for this matchup. I have a couple of Dister spells. I'm gonna bring in, and that's it, I don't want the Furies. I have to take out two cards. Obviously this deck that doesn't really have much to take out every time you sideboard. But I think you can never go wrong shaving the Diamond's Eye and Infernal Tutors. You can never go wrong shaving a little bit of those two. All right, I want to play. I reveal my companion. All right, this is good. Keep. I'll go Palaka Predation, or not? Maybe Malaka Rebirth. Yeah, Malaka Rebirth, because I can actually cast this. Maybe. Mm hmm Draw. Welcome everyone to a new Legacy video. The Asian Avenger! Hello! How's it going? We're playing Goblin Char Belcher. And to be more precise, I'm playing Goblin Char Belcher on turn two. With a third landing end. Looking to kill my opponent next turn. How have you been doing? It's been a while. Thank you for the raid. You had a nice stream here. A nice stream here. Okay, now if my opponent doesn't discard my Shadow Scoo Smashing or Surgical my Shadow Scoo Smashing, I win next turn. Alright. I think we got it. I think we got it. All right, cool. One one, an easy turn three kill for us. Straw Belcher rituals is gonna be fine. Going to be fine. All right, let's go. 
Do I remember the milk card? Yeah, yeah, that was Mind Funeral. Mind Funeral. Not very good. Not very good. Okay. Serial Mega Pain, even though it's useless. And what do I find? I find one, two. A lot of Disco Spell. I think it's a good end. Yeah, I think it's a good end, actually. Yeah, very good end. We got interactions. We supposed to evolve for a ritual we can win as early as turn three or four. Would you almost see my library? Okay, I might get to six. And I start with. Oh, what did see on it? I want to grief first. Yeah, yeah I'm going to grief. I'm going to grief. What do you have? Run the lock. That's not a great hand. Lots of interactions for a deck. Mixed counter spells not so good. Bro. Okay. That's very good. I'm gonna go Inquisition for now. Alright, I'll take Drown. Funny, they have Crypt Incursion. So here I could technically go Other Themes Awakening. Try to hit. And then go Spoils. And just. Get lucky, win. That could technically win next turn if a Desperate Ritual is in the top 15 cards. Which should be all the time, right? Yeah. Let's play... Let's play for uh, stats. Let's play for... Thinking that Spose of the Devil will, will get me a card in the top 15. It doesn't. I think it's still fine. Okay, they got three cards in a computer. Let's go. Spoils for uh, Desperate Ritual. That <laughs> top again. S Club for Desperate Ritual, my most loyal follower, always on top of my deck, whenever I need it. Thank you so much, Desperate Ritual. I will always name you. I'll never not name you. Nice! Ed's game. 2-0, two, zero, two one, one I'll take a bathroom break, Emmons. Okay, Rafu Spito. On the draw. I got three lands, four lands. Hmm. I think this is a mulligan. I don't even have a black card for grief. Keep. I'll bust my black card here. Cause I go, I just need a red land to win, right? Actually, though, do I want to? Special appeal. Do I want to pitch a red, a red ritual? Because at the end of the day, any red card gets me defeat on turn three. It's only if I want to win on turn two. But I would need a. Hmm. The other way, though. Having a third black land makes me makes me be able to draw a fourth uh, sorry black land. Yeah, I think this is best. 
So keeping the, the red card is only better if I plan on drawing a red land on top two draws. Voila, poti poti loco. All right, put him on again to five. A Tron, okay. Draw. A red land would give me a turn three win, which might be too late against Tron. Might be too late against Tron. Because I can go card, great creator, and I can't win. Although if they don't have Tron on turn three. Okay, nice. They kept a five card hand that doesn't Tron three. That's good. I mean if I'm only going to five, you don't always get a Tron turn three. Okay, the Seamus grind for a tower. I need a red land though. Now or like now or next turn. Spoils. Hmm. Well spoils can give me a red land next turn. I think I'm going to go spoils now for a Valakut Awakening or Shatters Go Smashing. I'm going to choose Valakut Awakening. Okay, it was 13 cards deep. Play and pass. And again, that's why I love the spoils. It lets you, it lets you turn three win. Profane Tutor doesn't do that. Relic, doesn't matter. My next turn we win. Oh, that could have Warping Whale, but... That's not likely. I mean, it's not unlikely, but I hope it's not, I guess. So we go Agadims. Yes. Heretic Ritual. Iron Crag Feet. Belcher. Activate. All right. Playing against Tron, I certainly want all the Disco Spell because of Card Degra Creator kills me. I don't think I want Furies. I think I'll take out the classics, honestly. It's one Infernal, one Lamb's Lion. Not cards I would want to draw in two copies. And not cards that I'd need to win the game. They're just filler. I didn't consider Force of Vigor, but I don't think it's good. Malgan. Okay, this end is very good. Keep. Uh, what do I bottom? Um, Shutter Scoo Smashing, probably. Opponent kept seven. Okay. Drop. Nice. This is a turn two win. This is a turn two win. Hoping my Tron opponent doesn't have Warping Whale for my feet. They don't. Let's do it. Did he play 3 life? Yes. Ritual. Ritual. Feet, Belcher, Activate, Boo! 
boom! What a nice little turn to win. Okay. 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 Always a pleasure to play against Ron. Okay. Two one two one. A four car combo. A four car combo. You can say it's a six car combo, right? Because they needed two lands as well. Hello, Vindarin. Good day to you. Is good day um does good day mean that you're from Australia? Do they only say that in Australia or or also in another part of the world? Join match. Potty potty loco, thank you for the sub. How's it going, my friend? You're having a good day. Good day. Good day, bad end though. So let's mulligan this end. Good eyes in Australia, really. AI will mulligan. Uh, much better. Keep. What do I bottom? I think I bottom grief. Yeah. That's bottom grief. They toss card means draw stuff. That's very weird. Hope they weren't going to surgical the market the birth. I would have called the judge. <laughs> he drunk crab fetch land. I'm smelling surgical extraction here. All right, good thing I never milled a belcher. I think I'm going spoils for uh, I just pass top land go. Nah, it's poor for desperate ritual and win. I feel like they play surgical. Hmm. Hmm. Because if I go top land, go, end of turn, spoils for Desperate Reach, I have to win next turn. I don't think I need it, though. I'm going to go spoils. 
Kind of a spoils for grief. Yeah. I'll go spoils for grief here. Okay, I exiled a bunch of cards, whatever. I'll go grief. Kitchen the Agadine's Awakening, I think. No, the Malachi Rebirth. Then I play Spikefield Hazard. Sorry, I meant to yeah, pitch the card that I pitched. So here they could have okay, so they don't have surgical. They have field of ruin though. Oh my. Come on, field of ruin. Ah, uh, that that hurts a lot. Field of ruin. Man, I can't I can't play spike if they field the ruin. I can't play spike if they field the ruin. I have to play this. I really thought they had a surgical. So they didn't have feel the ruin. I could have. I could have won next turn. Glue, glue, glue. Did you hear the glue, glue, glue? The microphone filter lowered its power. Cause it used to filter out the glue, glue, glue sound. You hear any background noise, or is it is it all good? I know no red mana. They feel the ruin. I didn't want to. I didn't want to play a top land this turn. You miss me playing arena? Yeah, unfortunately I will not come back in a while. Probably ever, honestly. Okay, so they do feel the ruin me. That's good. Sounds good? Nice. No, I know the glue glue sound is a thing. I'm just saying that okay. So they mills my belcher and another crab. Okay. I think I don't have a win. I think I just don't have a win. Next turn my opponent mills me for so much. Yeah, no, I lose. I lose zero. Cause no, maybe actually there's a world where I where I win. Cause I have six cards in the deck. Five cards, four cards. Nah, Belcher only deals three. Yeah, concede. Okay, so mill again. I'm gonna cyber the same way. Cube is on arena tomorrow. Cool. Best of luck. Uh, la, la, la. Unfortunately, Belcher actually needs cards in your deck, so if they mill them, you don't have cards to shoot. It's a problem. It's a problem. On the blade. Uh, 
This one doesn't have red mana, but I think it's a keep. Can you even draw Lion's Diamond? Lion's Belch? Lion's... No. Playing one Emrakul for the mill matchup. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea to play with an Emrakul in the side. Yeah. Or a Thoughtseize. Not a bad idea. Has Lion and Diamond... Has Lion and Diamond's Lion done anything yet? It's the title of the deck. No, I mean... Sometimes you have you have it in play and you cuff Belger. You, it's just I always draw the Iron Crack feet. Iron Crack feet obviously is busted, but you don't always draw Iron Crack feet. Why do I play the Companion? Because we played in the sideboard Force of Vigor. Without green cards in the deck. Plus, you know, my opponent will think that I'm blue white control very often. Very often. Is that true hero? Thank you for the raid. We played your deck earlier. And now we're playing a much different deck in Lion's Belcher. Hope you had a nice stream. Draw. Okay. Ooh, Thought Scour again. Alright. No. Why is there a freaking Maliki Rebirth all the time? Is there? I'm actually gonna play because I'm also afraid my opponent just surgicals it. Alright, let's play Inquisition now. Alright, they do a Surgical. I think Surgical is just too unbeatable for me. Counterspell is good, don't get me wrong. But Surgical is like actual unbeatable, because eventually they're going to build my Belcher and I'm going to lose. Counterspell, we can find, like, Counterspell is a reactive card. Oh, Diamond Lion, attenzione, I have poggers. I am pogging right now. I don't even know what can do, what it can do for me. Maybe maybe it's a counter spell. Maybe it's a counter spell. Same without companion. No, without companion, I can't play force of maybe vigor. Nice, great job by Diamond Lion, chat. Everybody, please, a round of applause for the Diamond's Lion, who ate a counterspell. He wasn't doing literally anything, but he traded for a counterspell. It doesn't get much better than this. Okay. Alright, there's a Belcher in the graveyard. Hopefully no surgical. Draw. Red mana. I said red mana. No. Correct, Rachel. No, no, they drew another surgical. Bobby in it. GG. 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 G. G. Okay, 2 2. Let's play for that treasure chest, please. Last time I played this deck, I also went 3 2. So we already got locked up that 50% win rate in two leagues, which is honestly pretty good. Honestly, pretty good. Next league, we're gonna have an Emrakul. Do I play another league after? Nope. This will be the last match of the week, actually. I'll be back on Monday. Monday is 
national holiday in Italy. If it's bad weather, uh, we'll probably just stay home and stream. If it's good weather, maybe we'll do something. And it looks like to be bad weather, so we will see, we will see. All right, last match with checkpoint. Kaira. Chat, this is the game from Diamond's Lion. Actually, I don't have black mana to cast a tutor. Oh, I got mad at that. This is the game for Diamond's Lion, chat. It's the game. We're gonna draw black mana and the lion will make us hellbent to... I mean, it's just boom, we're gonna win the game. On turn three. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe turn four. Did you play three life? No. Go. Steam bands. Oh, okay. Oof. It's not right. It's not Blue Murk died. Okay, okay. We can win this matchup. We can win this matchup. I need black mana. With black mana we win. We'll win next turn with black mana, probably. Black mana? No, I said black mana, no, not the tutor. Even Belcher wins. Draw that as well. Black Mana or Belcher are my best draws here. We don't plan. Wait a second. Rogri Trium? I must still be Creativity, even if even if it's not Teamer. You have to Fairy? Do -do 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 -do. Bad Tron player! Fifth month sub, thank you so much. Thank you for the support, bad Trump player. Okay, what do you do there? Fable? What's that? Freeze Mari command! No, babe. No. No, chat. Okay. I mean, okay, they were not doing anything anyway. Let's go, Belcher! I like your bird. No, that I don't have the Lima's Die when I drew black mana. <laughs> okay. And unfortunately, I can't help with my hand without... I mean, I can either cast this or this. I can't... I can cast this and then this. They don't do a combo together. This is the deck of the Nombo, by the way. And the deck of the combos. It's okay, I'm just gonna draw Belcher. The deck that gives the name, sorry, the card that gives the name to the deck. All right, they're gonna play the Archon. Hmm, I'll just grab this. Draw Belcher. Spose of the Vault, also that one. Butcher or Spoils? Shut is cool, Smashy Smashy. E, do I do something? No. I'm not dead though, so I could top deck again here. Ritual, ritual, what to say, what to... Mm, I think this is the best play. Get Kahira to my hand to discard it to the Archon. If they have another Archon, I can discard the other one. Maybe I could have hold this. No, it's fine, it's fine. 
Yeah, now I only need Iron Card Feet. I don't need anything else. I can discard it all. Do I survive to an Archon plus two Archons? No, I don't. Lend? Okay. I mean, I could technically have spell beer, so. Alright, it's now. Now, of course, Spose of the Vault is gonna be slightly harder to work. Does it work? Draw. Belcher. Belcher? Va bene. Allora cosa faccio? Rito. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5. No, I can't. Because this one says that uh, you can only cast... Yeah, no, there was no way. No way for me to win. This one says you can only cast one spell after, so if I cast this and then I cast this, I don't have a... I can cast Bell Charm. Checkpoint wins. I'm gonna cyber the usuals. Blue, blue, blue. Hey, blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should just play Profane Tutor over Diamond's Lion, honestly. I just put Profane Tutor over Diamond's Lion, just load up on Tutor. They're a, mid, they're a bit slow, but they get there. And we have a lot of interactions anyway. Maybe just play more lands as well. 21 doesn't seem that many, you could play a 24. I feel like I'm mulligan a lot because I miss lands. Again, obviously this is only the second time I played this deck. It's very untuned. A lot of things to tune. Okay, that's a key to me. Let's go. Let's go. I said to keep Tutor because uh, it can give me maybe be Lyman's Diamond. I don't know. What can it give me? Huh. Not sure. I'm not supposed to get to, to, to put this away, yeah. I was like, it's an additional copy of Belcher when I cast it, I counter it or kill it. This is the fourth land, which is way too slow, I think. I 
Iron Crit Feet means that if I draw a red land, it... No, never mind. I need a red land and a tutor. Yeah, it's way too many pieces. Way too many pieces to win next turn, so I don't have those. Alright, run and ticks. Return a land. It's okay. Draw. Prismari Command, I'm gonna take that one. They do also have a. Uh... They also have a uh, ending. Do I want a tutor for Belcher? I think so, yeah. I'll tutor for Belcher here so that I cast one Belcher, they end it, and then I cast another one. Exactly the reason why I held the, the, the tutor in my hand, honestly. If it wasn't mulligan to six, it would be better. Because I would be able to play a land next turn. Guaranteed. Whereas now I have a lot of bad draws, like all the rituals, for example. Yeah, I think we should play 24 lands in this deck. I think we gotta cut the Diamond's Lion. Yeah. Need to play 20 to 24 lands in the deck. Draw. Untap land. Spoils. I guess I'm going uh, spoils for um, Shadow Skull or whatever Valkyrie Awakening. Pass. Now, I could draw a ritual to win, or I could just land a couple of Belcher in a row. Yeah, today I never killed myself with spoils, which is a thing that I instead did last time, a couple of times when I played this deck. They know I have two Belcher in end. I don't know if they're a card though. The third card. Fable, sure. Mm hmm. Okay, Ritual. Inquisition. Inquisition technically handles the prismatic ending. I think I'd rather trade with a Belcher. Because it eats their whole turn. Whereas if I go Inquisition, they can simply cast other spells. Whereas now they have to cast Inquisition for 4 mana. Sorry, I meant ending for 4 mana. You went to tutor for Juris. Maybe, yeah. Could be. No, but I think when I play in front of tutor, I also had Juris. M might be wrong. Yeah? Might have drawn Juris afterwards. Anyway, now my opponent has to play ending for. Oh, Natchez Claim? Oh, come on, Natchez Claim. I can I can't see you're gonna lose claim. I thought I come out. I 
And now, now Rage should draw the tutor. The, 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 the Rachel. I have seven Rachels left. I mean, it's not that high stats, of course. But. Even an untapped land isn't the worst. I can go Inquisition to the ending and then Belcher. Actually, Red and Six is the emblem now. Butta male. Rachel. Okay. Uh, and they can just emblem the ren, so. Yeah, still, I don't think a better option. I'll play the stopped in pass. I mean, I should have probably taken bolts, I guess. I shouldn't die now, right? Because that's three, six, nine. Yeah, I shouldn't die. Maybe I die. If I die, I die. But yeah, I should have definitely discarded Bolt instead of ending. I don't even know why I didn't think about it. I was like, it's the same. It's not the same. I, I, sh I would have saved three lives. Anyway. The Shaman puts me to 11. Then they need four Bolts. Do they have four Bolts? So if I get an untapped step, what are my outs? Mm, pretty thin. Oh, wait a sec. They can also cast... Can they cast the Archon's turn? Yeah. They can cast the Archon's turn. Oh, no. Alright, then. I have one out. No, actually, I don't have any outs anymore. I don't have any outs anymore. Zero out for us. Ooh, I should have returned Kahera. If I returned Kahera, I would have had the out. Let's see if I would have drawn it. The out would be just discard Kahera and then just draw. That one I would have won. Fucking merda. And yet the chat. I lost. Because I didn't return Kahera. Because it was hidden. I forgot about it. Manach, my bad. It went like this. Two, three. It's all right. We could have gone to game three here. I, I actually misplayed and top decked. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll uh, be back.